Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace the evaporator fan motor assembly in this KitchenAid refrigerator, you will need a flathead screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver, a quarter-inch nut driver, a magnetized quarter-inch nut driver, and needle-nose pliers. Before you begin the procedure, unplug the appliance's power cord. Open the freezer drawer and use the small flathead screwdriver to pry the left slide rail tab away from the liner, enough to release the drawer stop. Do the same to release the right drawer stop. With the stops out, you can fully remove the upper drawer. Next, use the quarter inch nut driver to loosen the two screws securing the drawer front. Lift the drawer front off the drawer glides and set it aside. You can now lift the lower drawer up and squeeze the sides in to release it from the glides. Use the flathead screwdriver to help pry apart the shaft retainer clip so you can slide it to the left. You can now lift the shaft up and out. Using the flathead screwdriver, depress the three retaining tabs inward to release the freezer outlet duct. Depress the retaining tab to release the temperature sensor cover from the evaporator access panel. Detach the sensor from the cover. Using the quarter-inch nut driver, unthread the four screws securing the evaporator access panel. Set the access panel aside. Use the magnetized quarter inch nut driver to unthread the two screws, securing the evaporator fan motor housing to the rear liner. Pull the housing forward and disconnect the two upper wire harness connectors. You will now need to detach the two grounding clips. Disconnect the two defrost heater wire connectors. Then detach the defrost thermostat from the evaporator coil to fully remove the assembly. Pull the fan blade off of the motor shaft. Remove the two foam insulators. Depress the tabs to release the motor retaining bracket. Use the needle nose pliers to release the two wire retainers from the housing. and unhook the wires from the retaining hook to fully remove.
To prepare the new evaporator fan motor assembly for installation, transfer the grommet from the old motor to the new one. Secure the wires under the retaining hook and snap the wire retainers into place in the housing. Position the motor and snap the retaining bracket into place to secure. Reinsert the two foam insulators. Align the fan blade on the new motor shaft. Install the assembly by first snapping the defrost thermostat onto the evaporator coil. Connect the two defrost heater wire connectors, as well as the two upper wire harness connectors. Attach the two grounding clips to the evaporator housing. Now position the evaporator fan motor housing and rethread the two screws to secure. Partially reposition the access panel, making sure the sensor wire is seated in the upper left notch. Fully position the panel and rethread the four screws to secure. Snap the sensor into place in the cover, then align and snap the cover into place on the access panel. Realign the outlet duct on the panel and snap it into place. Confirm the shaft retainer clip is on the shaft. Insert the left end of the shaft into the left side gear. Position the right end of the shaft in the right side gear and snap the retainer clip into place to secure. Reinstall the drawer by aligning it on the glides, making sure the rear hooks are secured under the glides, then set the drawer in place. Reposition the drawer front on the glides and tighten the screws. Reinstall the upper freezer drawer by aligning the rear rollers on the track and the front rollers on the lower drawer then push the drawer in. 
Snap both drawer stops into place to secure. Plug the power cord back in, and the refrigerator should be ready for use.